We got a neighbor, Warbird, uh, George's truck, Parker's Mustang. What? Yeah. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you got I a burnout Fox ripper. Audio. I know. What's up? I'm Parker. Welcome back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos. I'm going to show you around my new 99 Mustang that has an LS and it's turbo that makes a thousand wheel horsepower. I got this car. Cletus and James knew I was kind of putting out some feelers looking. James helped me find it. It was out of Ocala, built by Les Lopez at One Stop Performance. I've been kind of looking for a race week car here and there ever since I moved to Florida a couple months ago and I thought what better way to get involved with these guys and spend time with my brother and all the other guys racing. I had so much fun with them on race week last year, Cheyenne and his twin turbo Huracan. And having an opportunity to buy this car has just been so cool. I'm pumped because there's still a lot of things I need to get dialed in before we take it on race week this year. So I'm gonna give you guys a walk around, show all the, you all the work that Les has done to it over the past year. He bought this thing bone stock as a V699 Mustang and immediately gutted the car. You can see he did a cage from Summit Racing. It's got a pro level power glide. He took the motor out of a 2013 Silverado. It's an aluminum block LQ4 5.3 liter. It has Gen 4 forged pistons, BTR Stage 3 turbo cam, ARP head studs from top to bottom of V8, VS Racing 88 103 millimeter turbo. I know I'm gonna need a bigger radiator. That's definitely on my list. Got to keep that car cool when we're driving thousands of miles this year we're going to be in between kansas colorado and nebraska for those seven days moving on it's got 2200 cc injectors good magnet fuel fuel pumps he said it for to start the car it's always on one fuel pump and then once the car reaches three pounds the second fuel pump kicks on now for the trans cooler back here one of the things on my list is to replace these hoses and fittings Probably dash six lines with AN fittings. That way it's just a little bit more dialed in. I don't have to worry about one of these lines coming off. It's super dangerous. I think if I am gonna do a new cage in it before race week, if Profab's gonna do it, I'll probably do a fire suppression system as well. But here's the inside. I do need to get another passenger seat because I think I'm gonna be bringing Spicy Spence along as my co-pilot. and. If you guys follow either he and I on Instagram, we had an epic road trip from Arizona to Florida when I moved here in December. Closer. Closer? Yeah, the closer the better for the draft. Yeah? Yeah. At 70? <laughs> what are we getting? We're getting 8.4 miles a gallon right now. <laughs> Holy, <laughs> Holy <laughs> got to get closer. <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the milk. You can get the Hand it over. <laughs> Garza, you said the you need a knife? <laughs> I got you. Dude, Garza ain't got you nothing on that. John Deere, dude? <laughs> the, we got two parts right here. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> oh, Y'all need to go take a nap. PC load letter. What the fuck is that? <laughs> And he is such a good road trip buddy because he doesn't stop talking and it's constant entertainment, which is totally fine. He and I have been buddies for a while now and uh, 
I'm really looking forward to it because he's never been on race week. And since last time was my first time, now that I have a car, we thought what better opportunity to do kind of like a road trip 2.0, give you guys some solid entertainment. So I'll show you how we get this car started up. Here's kind of the master on and off power. It's got a, it's got a Holly Terminator X, which is awesome. I do need to get a laptop. Turn the fuel on, air compressor, fan for the transmission. Lexi and windows. The tank got kind of spicy from the sun, so I'm gonna take these off, figure out a different plan for that. That way we can stay nice and cool when we're driving down the road throughout the Midwest, especially in June. I know it's gonna be hot and I don't wanna have these windows stuck up while we're driving, especially since there's no air conditioning in the car. built the car for no prep racing but I'm gonna be primarily using it for quarter mile stuff my plan for the trunk is since it only has a four gallon fuel cell is to do let me show you so use this four gallon cell for the e85 that it's already tuned on probably move it over to one side Doug from Race, Motion Raceworks has two fuel tanks, one for when he's at the strip and another one for when he's driving on the road. So I'll probably do something similar where I can just, once I get to the track, flip the lever and then be running on E85 and then run on pump fuel for when we're on the road. I also need to do an ice box back here because if we're gonna be putting in a passenger seat, so Spence can ride along, uh, we definitely need to relocate that. Also, the car is going to need a firewall. So, Les did a great job getting this car ready for no prep racing, but I want to get a little bit more dialed in for what I'm going to be using it for, for race week and driving a lot. So, we definitely need that bigger radiator, definitely need a bigger fuel cell. All right, so one deal that Les and I made when I bought the car is that I have to keep the original name that he came up with, which is Creeper. But looking at the car he painted it ruby red and i'm thinking to myself okay cletus has ruby as a corvette i've got the mustang i'm thinking about changing the name to rosie let me know what you guys think in the comments if you or if you have a better name i don't have anything solidified yet i still need to talk to les because he and i did shake on it that i would keep the name creeper so i don't want to go against my word i'm not that kind of guy but i have been brainstorming other ideas for names Oh, here's uh, the intercooler lines that I'm gonna be replacing. It's kind of just like this one inch fuel line. It just has water in it, but it easily comes off and I don't want that to come off when I'm doing a pass or driving down the road and then water sprays under the car and who knows what could happen after that. So the transmission cooling lines and the intercooler lines need to be replaced and that's nothing against Les. They just, for what I'm gonna be using the car for, I wanna have stuff that I know is gonna be really reliable since we're driving it a lot of miles. I do need, like I said, to get a laptop to tune this thing on the fly, move that to the back, probably get a different seat that's a little bit more comfortable. I'll still look at Kirky. I know Cletus has had a great luck with Kirky's and so I'm going to probably buy the same thing or get some different padding for it because we're gonna be spending a lot of time in this car and it's gotta have the windows off and all right, guys, that kind of wraps it up for my tutorial on the Mustang. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. I just had some minor tweaking to do on the car to get it ready for race week. I'm super pumped. I just moved to Florida from Arizona a couple months ago, and I've always wanted a Turbo LS car and made it happen. I'm really excited for what is to come with this thing. I've got some great ideas for some videos, and I'm excited for you guys to follow along when we go on race week and see what we can do to, to hang with the guys. So thanks for watching. We'll see you later.